Hey guys, I today is gonna be quite of a vlog. I'm going to show you or tell you something to be to consider when you send a package abroad to France. And I'm not generalize, generalizing. I have my package here that arrived with a little bit of um, disturbing, disturbing events. Let me tell you a little bit the history of this or of my life. I studied in England. Mm, no, let's start somehow else. Oh, so stupid. I have clothes, clothes. I have clothing items on three continents because I kind of travel. So I left them there in case I come back, you know, so I don't have to bring a lot of things just to carry on. So I left them, for example, I have some clothes in England that I left at a friend in case I come back because I thought I was going to come back in England or for something. And instead I come back to France because I was in Asia before. Blah. And so I just wanted like my friend to send me over a pair of boots because I didn't want to spend another $200 on boots. I really liked those boots. They were cheap, they were fast fashion, but they were comfortable and I liked them and I didn't want to spend more money. So I was, I was telling myself that I would rather spend some money on the shipping of those boots here. Though you don't have to buy new ones and contribute to uh, all the fast fashion industry and stuff. Anyway, so I wanted to recycle my boots and use them again for this winter and ship them over from UK to England. It's really close, right? It's not like Singapore. And I wanted to do first a like non-tracked package because it was cheaper and I trusted the post office before and everything pretty much arrived because um, like I trust the post office more here than when I been in Thailand for example when I was in Thailand and I was sure it's gonna arrive like with or without tracking number but in the end she like she kind of convinced me to do a tracking number which I did so there's this tracking number on it now the thing is I didn't check at all the tracking if it arrived or not because I was giving it like 10 days but it arrived way earlier anyway I'm gonna tell you what I don't like about the French postal office in this video um for this package i haven't received any notes in the mailbox usually when they come with the package actually we live in a building but it's ground floor so you have a garden so you have a door garden door so the, mm, the delivery guy has to go through the door to be able to ring the bell at the door through the garden he has to go through the garden to ring the bell at the door which they never do because they don't want to step in the garden you know even if it's written like in the i wrote it down in the suggestions and something it's always written that you have to go through the door any through the garden anyway he just didn't and i received no nothing in my mailbox telling me that the package arrived i received something else in my mailbox from another package i actually a letter that was tracked from Singapore so I went to the post office with that tracking number to get that letter but I didn't know there was another package waiting for me at the post office and they didn't tell me of course it was probably not organized by name it was organized by country or shipping number so that's why I didn't know I had two packages anyway until today or yesterday I decided to check if the package arrived and I saw that the package arrived um, but no one was home and so they left a note in the mailbox that's what was said on the website you know when you track the package and there was no notes note at all like it hasn't been any note and they said the package arrived the 22nd of December 2018 and now it's January 7th I think and that's like three weeks almost you know so by this time it should be gone back in England um, so I was stressed I was worried and the post office wouldn't reply to the phone they never answer the phone in this town maybe it's different somewhere else yeah I was afraid I wouldn't get it or they would send it back and similarly my dad had experiences like that my dad one time ordered something it was something big it was a massage thing it was pretty big and it was from a website he was always checking the tracking number on the website and the evolution of the package which was a good thing so when he checked he saw that it arrived but he wasn't home so to one day or two days later he went straight to the post office to ask about it 
which was a good thing that I didn't do. And when he asked about it, they told him, oh, but somebody signed for him already. And it was not my dad. My dad never signed for anything. He didn't receive anything. And they told him somebody else signed for him and got the package. He was like, no, let me see the signature. And luckily, aside the signature of the person who signed instead of my dad, there was a name. And he looked in our neighbors in the block and they found that a neighbor took his package and signed for it but didn't inform him. And we didn't know that neighbor and they didn't know us. So probably they were not going to inform us anyway, so they get the neighbors Get, got the package, you know. So it's something you can find in some cities, and like neighbors like that, you know. Anyway, another story as well. Same thing, he didn't receive a package. After two days, he went to the post office, and the post office says, oh, but it's signed already. Um, it said that it was damaged, and it needs to be returned. And my dad was like, I never signed for it. I didn't even check, like, I never checked if it's damaged or not. I never received it. But somebody else signed for, instead of my dad, and saying that they want to, the item to be returned to the, that website of the country and get assur the assurance, uh, recover everything because it was damaged. But the object was not damaged. But the delivery guy probably said the object was damaged because he thought the object was damaged. And the object, it was a big thing. It was sitting in the room with damaged objects needed for returns. And what do people do when there are damaged objects? They take them home people who work there. I don't want to bash on everybody, but this is what sometimes happens. So to avoid that, I put a tracking number. I mean, it's not really avoiding, but I'm blessed that it didn't happen to me. It wouldn't be too much expensive, it's just boots. But I would be really pissed off if that happened to me. And anyway, this, just to say, if you send us shipping of something to France or anywhere else, I'm not generalizing France, but anywhere else, mistakes can happen. You don't know people who work there. Maybe there's just one person who wants to do something bad and everybody else is nice. Just, I'm just telling you, check the track. And as soon as it arrives, every day check the tracking. As soon as it arrives, if it you don't receive anything in the mail, or you do receive, just go and pick it right away. Because if it stays there too long, it's gonna be returned. So this one stayed in the in the post office for like two weeks, and tomorrow they told me it would have been returned to England be because of no reclamation because i didn't ask for it now if i would have gone there one day later it would have been completely gone to england i wouldn't have paid again 15 pounds to send it over for just boot that you can find for the same price somewhere else <laughs> but yeah that was my story and that's why i don't trust the post office anymore also one time i mean i do but like you have to be careful and not count on it like i, I try to send letters to my boyfriend and Singapore he never received them and now I'm like freaking scared to send anything and he's like shipping me so many letters every month almost and I'm just like I'm hesitating to send any because one time I made something really special and nice and I put like lipsticks and perfume and everything it was handy craft and he never received it and it was just a letter it was not tracked so or maybe it was right no it was not tracked. anyway it, he I don't know nobody knows where it is so I have to send him something yeah but I'm just trying to figure out how to send it or what to send it to not get lost and of course this happens as well if you ship to third world countries even more like Thailand or so like like even in Thailand I just registered to receive my phone um, bill um, through the mailbox so I can have a uh, so I can like find out how to pay like it was everything in Thai it was hard to understand so I, I wanted to have a track um, I never received the phone bill through the mailbox like nobody ever received I never received it and they told me they were gonna send me and it's been like months two months I was waiting for it like seriously I don't know and in the end I didn't have to pay anything so I, I have no idea what just happened but um yeah put a tracking number my number one advice how do i open this i'm just so bad my wonder number number one advice don't ever send something without tracking 
I mean, if you trust, if it's in the internationally, yeah, internationally it's better with tracking. It's like two euros more expensive or something for a package from UK to here, but yeah, it's better than paying again or getting it lost. Really lucky because I went to see it to check it today. I was so lazy when I wake up this morning. I was like, no, I'm not going. I want to sleep because my mom could have only drive me in the morning there. Here we go. My boots are here. Need to be cleaned. Ba -da -da. Not very special. Very dirty, but they're comfortable. They're very comfortable. I want something like high heels, but not too much because I'm short. So I need something high heels. And those are the only comfortable high heels who don't make a sound and who don't slip on snow or on something else. Don't make a sound. And they're black, so yeah. Um, thank you, Rachel, for sending me this. I'm really happy you received them after three weeks. And thank you so much for your time. And yeah, that was the story. That was the vlog. Opening, unboxing some secondhand boots that I wore for one year, winter in the UK. Yeah, I'm very picky with clothes. Like, I don't care how expensive they are or how nice they are. If I don't like them, because I have a style, if I find them like too mainstream or too like basic or too, even too fancy sometimes, oops, I'm just not interested. And all the boots I saw were just ugly. I don't know. Just, just so ugly items in the fast fashion sometimes. I'm just sometimes you have nice ones yeah but i don't know i feel like it's too basic yeah whatever sometimes i really like shopping and sometimes i hate shopping okay this was the video hope you enjoyed my favorite candle it looks disgusting look all around here but it's still my favorite hey, we all just run away as we got time but that ain't much we can't wait